this movie brought the Catholicism out of me full force. <laughs> like, I'm not even lying. Like, I had such a severe reaction to this movie. I, when I was growing up, I grew up in an environment that was extremely, extremely sex negative. And now as an adult, I know that there were other things going on that explained some of that stuff, but I can't talk about that. So, um, an extremely sex negative environment to the point that, like, any, any kissing, any intimacy in a movie was fast forwarded through. Like, we weren't allowed to see how adults even be physically affectionate on a base level with each other. Like, it was... To have that behavior modeled for you from such an early age of seeing your parents get tense when they see that on a film and you all sit there waiting for it to be over as your parents fast... So, that's what that means to me, right? I associate seeing sexual things on a movie um, with cringe, tension, look away. Don't don't even look at it. And I've gone over a lot of that as I became an adult. <laughs> Not all of it. <laughs> and um, for the first time in such a long time, I literally could not look at the screen. Like, I had such a visceral reaction to it. Like, it brought me, it brought me back. Like, I couldn't even look. Um, it, I had such a severe reaction to it that I was experiencing all of those feelings of sexual shame secondhand yeah. on behalf of these characters. Like, I'm almost 25, and I still can barely bring myself to wear shorts because of how severely I was conditioned. Like, I can wear shorts now. That's new this year. Whoa. That's new within the past nine months, okay? So seeing girls age 11 dressed like that and <clears throat> dancing like that, it... Like, I, I couldn't comprehend. I, I couldn't comprehend on, on, on so many different levels. I couldn't, I couldn't comprehend being able to do that even now. See, this is the problem with not having red lines, some red lines, because justified red lines, because then people might think like, you know what, maybe the religious upbringing had yeah. a point, you know what I mean? Did you come up, did you That was my reaction. Yeah. I was watching this movie and I was oh. like, I am so glad my parents kept me overly sheltered. I am so glad my parents made me afraid of sex. I am so glad my parents punished no. me for this shit like that was my reaction i'm serious no oh my god yeah that's bad it is bad oh yeah it, see it, like, it was it this, was so this visible. undoes this undoes our work into making people more like liberate sexuality and all that the this kind of like overcorrection undoes our you know that a lot of people are like okay you know how yeah so well again, the Mennonites that, say say nothing about sex so i taught myself so through that way <laughs> but i was way more open though i was like those girls not like those girls i wasn't like a bad girl but i was not ashamed of like wearing short stuff but but i'm saying is that this is why when we have to like we have to tell people where the actual red lines need to be like as people yep. who are want to promote sex positivity we cannot be like hey remove all the rules right we have to tell people that okay here are the rules and it's not based on disgust it's not based on taboo it's not based on what is normal and that's what normal it's not based on what's society acceptable and what's not society what society is not accept socially is not acceptable it's based on harm reduction and harm reduction only right and these are, and we, but we have to tell people there are red lines. Just because mm -hmm. we are liberals, that doesn't mean there are no 
red line there no there no there shouldn't be any rules but the rules that we come up with the standards that we come up with is about preventing victim preventing people from being harmed mm -hmm. and again i think this movie crossed those lines